ஹலோ வியூவர்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு டிஎஸ்பி ப்ளே லிஸ்ட் லெக்சர் சீரீஸ் ஸோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ லெக்சர் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் ஹவு டு ஃபைண்ட் தி கான்டிசேஷன் நாய்ஸ் பவர் டியூ டு ஏடிசி தட் இஸ் வைல் கன்வெர்டிங் தி அனலாக் டு டிஜிட்டல் கன்வெர்ஷன் வாட் பி தி ஃபைனட் வேர்ல் லென்த் எஃபெக்ட் தட் இஸ் குவான்டிசேஷன் நாய்ஸ் அது அவுட்புட் ஆஃப் ஒன் ஃபில்டர் இஃப் த இன்புட் இஸ் குவான்டைஸ்டு டு ஏ எயிட் பிட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃபார் சிக்ஸ்டீன் பிட்ஸ் It's a very simple problem and it is an university problem. So the given uh, input of the system, the response of the system y of n is equal to 0.999 y of n minus 1 plus x of n. First, you have to write down the equation as y of n minus 1 plus x of n. Apply z transform. Apply z transform. so that y of z is equal to 0.999 that is y of n minus 1 is equal to z power minus 1 y of z plus x of z again i am rearranging d y of z term and x of z term so that 1 minus 0.999 z power minus 1 is equal to x of z from this the transfer function of the system y of z by x of z is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus 0.999 z power minus 1. y of z by x of z is nothing but h of z that is a transfer function is equal to 1 minus 0.999 into z power minus 1. Uh, to find the quantization noise at the output of the system. The relation to find the quantization noise at the output of the system is that is sigma e o square is equal to sigma e square that is a quantization noise variance divided by 2 pi j integral is a closed circle that is a closed counter integral h of z h of z inverse and then z inverse into d z so this is a relation to find the output uh, <coughs> quantization noise of the filter so how to find this uh, closed integral so this closed integral has been found by using the residual theorem so what is the residual theorem the residual theorem that is uh, to find this closed integral value that is 1 by 2 pi j integral h of z h of z inverse z inverse d inverse by residual theorem it is minus i is equal to 1 to n that is the number of poles residual of h of z h of z inverse z inverse for z is equal to pi that is the poles it represents the number of poles uh, to find the output noise power we need h of z h of z inverse h of z h of z inverse and then uh, you have to find the poles you have to find the poles so after applying the poles in that equation you have to find the output noise power of the system very simple first find the h of z here h of z is in the z inverse form so i am going to find it is in terms of z that is h of z as h of z is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus 0.999 z inverse so i'm going to take z inverse common outside this is equal to if i'm take z inverse common outside i'm take z inverse common outside so that the value is equal to 1 by z inverse that is 1 by z inverse is equal to z minus 0.99 so 1 by z inverse is equal to z divided by z minus 0.99 so this is about the h of z to find h inverse you just apply the inverse just simply z inverse divided by z inverse minus 0.99 so in this in this way you have to find the h of z and the h of z inverse and then you can simplify this also in order to find the poles 
that is uh, you just take uh, I take it as an Z inverse by taking the Z inverse common outside by taking Z inverse common outside so that it is 1 minus 0 0.99 Z and uh, I am taking this is it inverse is it inverse get cancelled is it inverse is it inverse get cancelled so that 1 minus 0 0.99 is that again I am again I am uh, taking minus 0 0.99 in common outside so that is that minus 1 divided by 0 0.99 so which is equal to uh, minus that is a 1 divided by minus 0 0.99 this value is equal to 1 minus 1 double zero 1 divided by z minus 1.001 so this is the h of z inverse so we found h of z and the h of z inverse so by residual theorem so by residual theorem that is a residual of h of z h of uh, z inverse and z inverse is equal to you know that h of z value is z divided by z minus 0 0.99 so this one is a, at z is equal to poles and then z inverse value z inverse value is minus 1.001 <coughs> z minus 1.001 into z inverse into z inverse so z into z inverse is this z power 0 is this 1 so that my equation is minus 1.001 z minus 0 0.99 and z minus 1.001 so for a stable system all the poles should be lie inside the unit circle see the poles here it is yes there is a poles z there is for p1 it is 0 0.99 the poles p2 is 1.001 it is away from the unit circle so for the stable system you have to choose the poles which is inside the unit circle as 0 0.009 that is so by setting is so z minus 0 0.999 into minus 1.001 .001 divided by z minus 0. Point. so you should not select this uh, poles 99 and then z minus 1.001 for the poles is 0 0.99 substitute the value for z is equal to 0 0.99 the residual value is equal to after substituting this after uh, substituting these values <coughs> this value is equal to 500.5 a residual value is 500.5 next you have to find the output noise power that is sigma eo square is equal to residual value that is sigma e square into residual value so you have to find the sigma e square so how to find the sigma e square that is the quantization noise so sigma e square is equal to you know the relation q square divided by 12 q is equal to r divided by 2 power b see so this b which is includes the sine beta here in our problem the range is not given you have to choose the range values from minus 1 to plus 1 the range is minus 1 to plus 1 so range is equal to 2 volt here in our problem there are two cases that is case 1 for the bit for the bit is 8 bits and case 2 for the bit is 16 bits for eight for first we are going to solve for 8 bits for 8 bits that is b is equal to 8 b is equal to 8 bits So q square is equal to q square is equal to r value is 2 2 power 8 so when you substitute this when you calculate this 2 
so when you calculate uh, by 2 power 2 power 8 the value is equal to 7.8125 into 10 power 3 so uh, from this again uh, you have to divide uh, that is the error is equal to 7.8125 into 10 power sorry minus 3 minus 3 square divided by 12 it is equal to 5.0862 into 10 power minus 6 to find the output noise square which is equal to 5.0862 into 10 power minus 6 into 500.5 it is equal to 2.54 into 10 power minus 3 that is the output noise error for 8 bits it is 2.54 into 10 power minus 3 suppose if if it is for uh, that is that is in section b if the bit is for 16 bits if the bit is for 16 bit the same thing q square is equal to 2 divided by 2 power 16 the answer is 3.0517 into 10 power minus 5 and similarly find uh, sigma e square value is 3.0517 into 10 power minus 5 square divided by 12 that is equal to 7.761 into 10 power minus 11 to find the output noise power to find the output noise power sigma eo square is equal to 7.761 into 10 power minus 11 into 500.5 so from this the output noise power is equal to 3.88 into 10 power minus 8. Okay, very simple problem. This is an university problem. I summarize the problem. That is for the given uh, system input how to find the output noise power. So first you have to convert this uh, input equation into an Z domain by applying the z transform so from that you have to find the transfer function h of z you know the relation you have to apply the relation for uh, output noise power as sigma e square by 2 pi g integral h of z into h of z inverse z inverse dz so uh, this integral form has been reduced uh, by using the residual theorem h of z into h of z inverse into z inverse the first find the h of z value i am just taking z inverse common outside so that i will be getting the value is z minus 0 0.999 so that that is z z and numerator z by z minus 0 0.99 uh, similarly for uh, apply the inverse for this h of z again i am taking z inverse common outside this get cancelled again i am taking this now to find the poles i am just taking the the filter coefficient value that is minus 0 0.99 as z minus 1 divided by 0 0.99 so that h of z inverse is equal to minus 1.001 into z minus 1.001 to solve this you have to choose the poles that is apply the residual theorem h of z h of z inverse into z inverse substitute this here you have the two poles um, z is equal to 0 0.99 and uh, another pole is 1.001 for a stable system you have to choose the poles should be less than the unit so otherwise the system will not be unstable so that i am choosing the poles less than the one that is a 0 0.99 so from this applying the residual theorem z minus 0 0.99 get cancelled for the poles pi for that is a z value is equal to 0 0.99 by substituting the value for z is equal to 0 to 999 the residual value as 500.5 and then output noise power value is equal to quantization variance that is a noise variance into an residue here in our problem two bits are given so for the case one for uh, 8 bit and case two for 16 bit you know the the level is the quantization level is r by 2 power b and the error is q square by 12 for 8 bit the output noise power is equal to 2.54 into 10 power minus 3 and for 16 bit 
that is 3.88 into 10 power minus 8. Let's take down the assignment problem. That is, take the range. Take down the assignment problem. Take the range from minus 5 to plus 5 volt. And the number of bits. Take the bits as 8 bits. Take the bits as 8 bits. And the equation is y of n is equal to 0 0.68 y of n minus 1 plus 0.15 x of n. Okay. So for this problem, uh, solve it and post the answer in the comment section. For more problem, subscribe our channel. Thanks for listening. Thank you so much.